How to repartition your Google Pixel to Excel? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can repartition your Google Pixel to Excel or if and when the method is available for Google Pixel 2, the same video is going to work. You just have to use the files for the Google Pixel 2 now. Why would you want to repartition your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 Excel? Well, that is because the system partition on this device is small and then for android 12 android 13 custom roms they are not able to fit google apps inside that system partition which is why we do need to repartition the device again it is only needed if you plan on flashing custom roms or you want to flash custom roms like pixel experience on your pixel 2 or the pixel 2 excel now super important things to note over here are that all the files all the applications whatever we are using in this video are linked in the description of the video and right now i am running stock android 11 on my pixel 2 excel however the process should work even if you are on a custom rom next thing you need to note is that you are going to lose all your pictures videos all your data because we are going to perform a format data so make sure you have a backup of all those things and another thing is that your storage which is available will go down because we are repartitioning the data partition and adding a few more partitions so right now with stock android installed i have like how much do i have i have 55.02 gb free this is going to go down once i have repartitioned my device successfully now next thing i recommend you do is you can go into settings accounts remove any google accounts which are associated with your device then go into security remove your screen lock and your fingerprint if you have set them up and then go ahead and reboot your device now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going to repartition our device perform a format data and after that it's going to be factory reset which means if you're already signed into a google account you will have to sign back into it so just to avoid that situation we are signing out beforehand however if you are comfortable with signing back into your account after a factory reset then you can skip the step of removing your google account so here it is we have now booted back into android and the next thing we need to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we need to boot it into fast boot mode so once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume down and bam here it is you can see we have booted into fast boot mode and at this point we are going to connect our phone to the computer using a usb cable so here it is we are on the computer and all the files all the links everything is in the description of the video so for starters you need your adb and fastboot so this is your sdk platform tools from the official android developer website download it for your windows mac or linux whatever you are using then you need twrp recovery image file for the pixel 2 excel if you are doing this on the pixel 2 then you will have to use the twrp image file for the pixel 2 and then you need the repartition script so this is the install page of pixel experience for the pixel 2 excel and you need to download the file based on your internal storage size so if you have a 64 gb pixel 2 excel you're going to use the first one if you have the 128 gb you're going to use the 128 gb one and you also have the back to stock partition style files as well in case you ever want to use them now I have downloaded all these files, placed them inside a folder. This is platform tools. This is the repartition for the 64 GB. And this here is the TWRP image file for the Pixel 2 XL. The next thing we need to do is extract this platform tools because this is a zip file. So right click on it, select show more options if you're running Windows 11 and I am using WinRAR to extract it. All I'm going to say is extract here and this is going to extract the contents of this file in a folder called platform hyphen tools. Next thing we need to move this repartition zip and the TWRP image for pixel to Excel inside the platform tools folder. And now if I go inside this folder, you will notice over here I have ADB, 
then I also have fastboot, I have my partition zip file or the repartition zip file and twrp image file for the pixel 2 excel. Next up, select the address bar, make sure everything is highlighted, type in cmd and press the enter key on your keyboard. This is going to open a command prompt over here. Now, the next thing you need to do is check whether your device is being detected in fastboot mode or not. And before I forget, if you're running Mac or Linux, you will need to open terminal and navigate to this specific path so the command to check whether your device is being detected in fastboot mode or not is fastboot space devices magnal linux users will need to enter dot slash before the command and once you've entered the command go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fastboot mode now what if your device is not being detected in fastboot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed and how do you install the drivers video for that can be found in the description of this video the next thing we need to do is we need to boot into twrp recovery so the command for that is fast boot space boot space and then you need the name of the image file and i suggest you just drag and drop the image file onto your command prompt and that is going to plug in the name and then press the enter key and at this point your phone should boot into twrp recovery so here it is you can see that we have booted into twrp if you get this message of allow modifications make sure you do swipe to allow modifications now what if your phone does not boot into twrp recovery well in that case it could be an issue with your rom so i suggest that you go back to stock android 11 and then try the process again because that is what is working for me now herein the phone is still connected to the computer go into advanced and and then we will go into terminal herein we need to enter a command to check the current partition style so sg space slash dev slash block slash sda space hyphen hyphen print you do not need the space bar between the hyphen and the p and here it is you can see that this is my current partition style so you will notice i have system underscore a system underscore b p store aes underscore a aes underscore b align underscore p a r t i and user data so this is my current partition style now we can tap on the home button go back into advanced adb side load and then swipe to start side load now we can go back to our computer now back on the computer we are still in command prompt and here in the next thing we are going to check is whether our device is being detected in side load mode or not so we are going to enter adb space devices press the enter key and there it is you can see my device is being detected in adb mode now what if it is not being detected in side load mode while you are on your side load screen in twrp remove the usb cable from your phone connect it again and you should be good to go Next thing we need to do is we need to side load the repartition zip file. So the command for that is adb space side load space and name of the file which is your repartition zip file. So again as easy as drag and drop the file and as always Mac and Linux users will need to enter dot slash before the command and once you have entered the command all you need to do is press the enter key and it will tell you serving 47 percent and at some point it is going to be done and on your phone it will tell you installing zip file side load package dot zip unmounting system and once you get total transfer 1.00x on your computer that means the process was finished successfully now at this point we can safely disconnect our phone from the computer so now that we have disconnected our phone from the computer we will say back and we will be in the advanced menu go into terminal and herein we are going to enter the command which we had entered one more time so that is the command sgdisk space slash dev slash block slash sda space hyphen hyphen print press the check mark and now you will notice that after align underscore parti we have product underscore a product underscore b system underscore exta and system underscore exta b 
and the user data partition has gone down by some size i think previously it was 55 or something gb now it is 48.1 gb this means that repartition is now done so we're going to tap on the home button go into wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right again as i mentioned in the beginning of the video format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and as you can see formatting data was done the failed to mount can be ignored tap on the home button reboot and select system now do note we have performed a complete factory reset of the device by performing a format data so the first boot up into your stock android 11 or if you are running a custom rom will take some time so you have to be patient so here it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick so we are on the home screen let us open the application drawer we can go into settings and now you will notice that my storage has gone down to 49.82 gb because some of my data partition is being used for the new partitions which we have just created and there it is peeps so that is how you repartition your google pixel 2 excel or the google pixel 2 if and when a script arrives for the google pixel 2 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you